Hello everybody and welcome to this lesson on building dynamic charts in Google Sheets using the data validation method. So let's just see what we have in the sheet already. I have a small table of raw data. It shows five drivers and it shows their annual mileage in 2013 and 2014. And I'm going to use a data validation method to go ahead and create a dynamic table which we can then draw our chart off of and that makes the chart dynamic. So let's see that in action. It's, it's a pretty straightforward process. So the first step is to just create uh, this data validation cell. So I come up here to data and I click validation. Now my cell range is where I would like the validation to exist. The criteria is the list that I want the user to be able to select from. So I'm going to click into that and I'm going to go and highlight the five names of the five drivers. And then I'm going to just click save. Everything else is fine in this case. Now you see how it puts that little gray triangle into my cell? So if I click on that gray triangle, it pops up with the name, the five names, which allows the user of the spreadsheet to go and choose one of those names. Now this is very powerful because I can now use this combined with a VLOOKUP formula. Just lock that onto that, uh, that column. I can search in this table here, lock that table, turn column two, false. And now I'll just return the third one, third column. And now when I change the name, you see the values are changing. They're updating automatically, which is fantastic. That's what we want to see. So let's just put some headings in here, 2013, 2014. Okay, so I think we're ready to create our chart, our dynamic chart. So I'm going to highlight that data come up to insert, chart, and I'm going to go with the column chart, use row three as labels, and let's just customize it. We're going to remove that title, and we're also going to remove on the left vertical, we're going to remove that name because we don't want those names fixed. We're also going to make sure we start at zero all the time, but let's insert that now. The reason I did that because otherwise I would end up with the name Sam, for example, always on that left hand axis. And obviously uh, at times this is going to not represent Sam, this will represent somebody else. But by leaving the legend there, it tells me which name uh, I'm referring to. So you can see how that chart changes dynamically with the values that I select. So it's a really handy technique to use in your dashboards or your reports to add that level of interactivity so that the user can select the metric they want to focus on and, and see how that changes. So that's all, folks. Until next time, thanks again.